This is the Kimki police station near Moscow, where Alexei Navalny is being held. Authorities say he violated the terms of a suspended prison sentence by not checking in regularly with Russian police while he was in Germany recovering from his poisoning. On Monday, he appeared before a special hearing to extend his detention. His lawyers were not allowed in. Navalny condemned the hearing and said President Vladimir Putin is scared of him. I do not understand why the hearing of the Kimki court is taking place at a police station. Why was no one informed or notified? I have seen many times the mockery of justice, but it looks like the old man in his bunker is so scared of everything that the criminal procedures code has been torn up and thrown into the garbage. Navalny was arrested soon after landing in Moscow on Sunday. He is Putin's fiercest critic and leads a pro-democracy political movement determined to play a role in parliamentary elections this September. At a time when Putin's own political party is suffering in the polls, Navalny poses a real challenge. From the West, there has been widespread condemnation of the arrest. Russia, through its own constitution and its international obligations, is tied to the principle of rule of law and the protection of civic rights, which obviously also goes for Mr. Navalny. The principle must be applied, which for us means nothing else but to immediately release Mr. Navalny. On Monday, during a scheduled press conference, Russia's foreign minister hit back. You can feel the joy of their carbon copy comments. Joy, because it apparently helps Western politicians think they can distract their citizens from the crisis the liberal system is in. Navalny's decision to return to Moscow places him in potential danger, but it also puts pressure on Putin. The rush to detain him shows the Kremlin is concerned. Navalny has growing political influence. Any further mistreatment may lead to more sanctions. The world is watching what happens next very closely. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World.